Hi, I'm Chris with Illinois Agriculture in the Classroom. And I'm Lincoln. And today we're going to do a really cool science experiment using a pumpkin that Lincoln grew all by himself. Yep. Lincoln, did you know that Illinois grows more pumpkins than any other state in the whole country? Yeah, you say that all the time. Oh, I do? Okay. Well, um, tell you what, here's one you maybe don't know. Did you know that we got the tradition of carving pumpkins into jack-o'-lanterns from Irish immigrants? I did not know that. Yeah, when they first came to our country, they had a tradition of carving faces into turnips. When they got to America, they found pumpkins and realized they were much easier to carve. And so we now have a tradition of making jack-o'-lanterns. So the first step that we're going to do with our experiment today is we're going to carve this pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern. All right, now we are ready for the science part of this experiment. We have our jack-o'-lantern made. We have a, a small cup inside the jack-o'-lantern, and into that cup, I put one cup of hydrogen peroxide. This is 12% hydrogen peroxide. This is much, much stronger than the stuff you'll find in your medicine cabinet. Uh, you can buy it at beauty supply stores. We got ours online. So we have one cup of hydrogen peroxide. Into that, Lincoln is gonna pour two tablespoons of dish soap. While he's doing that, I have two packets of regular active dry yeast. I'm gonna pour those two packets into six tablespoons of warm water. I'm gonna stir this, and then Lincoln is gonna take some green food coloring. And put it in there. And then you're gonna drop a few drops of that green food coloring into there. Now, is it time? We're almost there. So, are we gonna just pour that and then, then it will start? It should, yeah. Okay. So now, I gotta get this yeast all stirred up here. And this is the part where it'll look like foamy green slime. Yeah. Well, it will be green though. Okay. Okay, do you want me to pour it in? Yes. Okay, so we did it right. We should see a vomiting pumpkin here. Okay, give me a countdown here. One, two, three! <laughs> Look at that! It's not really green. It's not green, yeah, the food coloring didn't mix in, did it? No. Wow! Pretty cool. That's not what I thought it would be. Like. Yeah? Alright, let's talk a little bit about the science part of this. Hydrogen peroxide is made up of hydrogen and oxygen. It naturally degrades, that's why you always see hydrogen peroxide sold in, in bottles that are not clear. So, the yeast is functioning as a catalyst to force the oxygen out of that solution. And so, by adding the dish soap, the dish soap captures that oxygen and that's what creates this foam. This is also an uh, exothermic chemical reaction. So this, if we touch this, it would be a warm to the touch. It creates heat when it causes this reaction. So, in addition to being really cool to see a pumpkin vomit, it's also a really cool way to talk about a number of different science concepts and also tie in a little bit of agriculture here with our pumpkin. All right, well, we're pretty pleased with that for our first attempt at the vomiting pumpkin experiment. And thanks for watching. Still trying to make this stuff green. Maybe what would have been really cool is if we pour it in then we quickly put the lid on. Oh, and force all of it to come out the front? Yeah. That's a cool idea, yeah. Maybe yeah. the next time we'll try that. 